Hello, and today we are looking at the 2014 VW Golf R. It's my all-wheel drive drift build with 668 horsepower. So let's get into it. It's also got a sweet wide body kit to it. I looked at the stock one. We couldn't look at the engine again. I've seen the engine in real life because I have a friend that owns one and I got to drive it. It was awesome. Um, beautiful lights. Uh, now his was um, much newer. It was a 2019. Uh, this is a 2014. So little difference by years. Look at that. We can actually look into the back. It looks sick with the uh, wide body kit. And it's a manual transmission, which is so a plus. Uh, if you guys drive a manual transmission in real life or know how to, let me know in the comments below. So to start this, there's a button right down there. And it sounds mean. It sounds like 668 horsepower. It's not a bad car to drive either. I really like this one. You have arrived at your destination. Very smooth. And that second gear is great. Keep that slide going. Not a bad car. I really like it. Uh, I do have a tune shared. Um, if you guys want to know. It's called King's All-Wheel Drive Drift. There are the stats. Uh, 79 gun loads. 83 uses and 1 like. 2nd, 3rd gear. Tuned. Easy All-Wheel Drive Drifter. And it is. As you can tell, it drifts pretty easily. Now, apart from all that stuff, um, like I said, we're running a 1.6 liter inline four. It's the stock powertrain at close to 300 horsepower. And I added 300 horsepower to it. Um, it is all wheel drive and it's got a white body kit, rocket bunny style. Here's what it looks like normal. Let's go to the back, see the back. Oh yeah, aggressive. Definitely lighter. And uh, yeah, everything else uh, should be in race. Um, it's a S1, so we don't even have to really even show you guys anything. Um, well, I mean, like maybe body styles and what, you know, there really isn't anything you could really do. Um, you got the Rocket Bunny lip here that I painted black. You can keep it regular and then keep it ugly. This one looks the best. And then here. You can do whatever you want to do, and it puts lights up on top. So that's no fun. Um, everything else is going to be in race. Other than that, you got a stock tire compound, uh, stock width in the front, stock width in the rear. Uh, here's what the original rims look like, but it, they're they're dark on this because of how I have it painted. I got the TC 105 ends on there. Uh, 20s in the front, 20s in the rear. They come naturally with 19s, so that's kind of nice. And yeah, like I said, everything else here is pretty much in race. Um, and race anti-roll bars for the front and rear. Uh, no roll cage at all. Um, probably as light as you can be. And it's got drift springs. So what else could you want? I'll reach to the tune and show you guys what I did to it. And we'll call it a day. And I will be quiet from here on out. <laughs> well, not here on out.
And there's the tune. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it does have a top speed, uh, even though it's 4.2. Um, so it's it's not a straight drifter. It will pull on you a little bit. Other than that, it's a great car. Um, I highly recommend you guys definitely picking it up. Definitely trying it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. I'm King Posh. <laughs>